Friday, really cool event. We were able to attend uh, Camdenton's Elegant Evening. Yeah. Uh, we were invited by Kelsey and Tyler Knight. Yeah. Uh, I just wanted to thank them personally. Just awesome people. Yeah. You know, Kelsey involved in the district, helps with the media and the uh, PR. And of course, Tyler is the assistant principal at the middle school. And uh, he's been a coach for a long time. And I've seen Tyler around. I've yeah, seen he Kelsey. looked familiar, didn't he? He did yeah. so familiar. I mean, he just looks like a, a coach for sure. Great couple. Was really honored to sit with them. But the night as a whole, Chris, I mean, you could go, we could go on and on. But what a special evening. Yeah, it was stunning, you know, when you walk in the door and, and there are literally thousands, maybe tens of thousands of uh, pieces of art, you know, from elementary school kids all the way up into the high school. And it was interesting because we talked at the event. You know, you could see the development of the kids from the younger to the older and, you know, their thinking changes as they get a little bit older. So the artwork changed uh, and some of it got darker, some of it got lighter. It was, it was fascinating, um, but I was stunned at the amount of talent you know, that, uh, that was there. And then, you know, it wasn't just artwork. They also had yeah. some pottery there. You know, oh, yeah. the kids were making the pottery right there in front of us. Some painting was going on. They had choirs and singers and musicians, and it was pretty amazing. Oh, uh, it was a uh, powerful evening to, to say the, the least. Now, one of the things I wanted to show is they, they put these, apparently these are an annual thing. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't get over these. So these are all original artwork from the students. And they give you little greeting cards yeah. at the table as uh, you get to take these with you. I thought these were just awesome. Yep. So Unique and I got those. But one of the things, Chris, that I took from this event was uh, it was actually a little emotional for, yeah. for, for me and for Unique. Uh, unbelievable level of talent. But what I saw um, as we made our way through the school, it starts with the younger kids, right? And their artwork. And you make your way through the hallway as you make your way to the the main event, and as you get closer to the event, the kids get older, mm -hmm. the middle school and the high school kids, and we have to understand that art is a way to uh, express yourself, and for young people, uh, this is a great outlet for them, and as we made our way, not only did the skill set get greater, but the emotion behind it got a little darker, a little deeper, you would see, and so what I took from this is these kids are incredibly talented, but oh boy, are they hurting and dealing with things that we didn't deal with when we were in school. And I think they're crying out for adults. Some of for, them are, most people, definitely. You know, and not all of them, but I, I got a chance to, to speak with uh, a handful of administrators with Camdenton. I got a chance to, to speak with a couple of district parents whose kids are going through stuff. And I, I thank them for their confidentiality and confiding in, in me on that. And uh, it is clear that kids are hurting and, and dealing with pressure and stresses that uh, we didn't. and so. I think about why maybe, we know for adults how doom and gloom the world is right now, right? I mean, it's like it's never been before. And so for kids, they've got access to that. They've mm -hmm. got phones and social media that run their life. And so they get to see how divided the culture is around them, how divided the left and the right, how divided the uh, believers or non-believers, how divided the pro or against abortion. I mean, it, well, you name the topic, right? There's hundreds and thousands of them out there. And I happened to see one piece of art that was unbelievable. It was a freshman, um, Autumn Burick, I believe is how you pronounce her name. And it was this flag, as you see here on screen, and there was two sets of hands, one on each side, just holding the flag, and it started to rip at the threads. And this is a 14-year-old kid. So as you look at that, what do you take from that? What do you think they're meaning by that? And a million different things could be but we think about as adults, our country is literally being ripped at the threads mm -hmm. right now before our very eyes. And to have a 14-year-old child depict that and express that through her artwork, it was moving, it was beautiful, and it was sad. Yeah. You know, because they it's mean It's still that. affecting That's you That's what yeah. they see and what they're expressing. And I couldn't look away. Yeah. I just, I couldn't look away. And I'm telling you, it was moving. I got emotional over dinner because it was so good. <laughs> I started to cry. <laughs> Thank you for changing the mood for me because dinner was also it incredible. It was good. And the kids cooked it, right? They, they cooked it. They sang. They performed. They spoke. I, it was just our kids, our young people are so important, I mm -hmm. think, is what I took away. And uh, the district also honored uh, Ron Edwards, yeah. which was really cool uh, as the outstanding educational professional. He made a huge impact on a lot of people, including current superintendent, Dr. Sean Kirksey. I, I yeah. spoke with him about 
his difference that he made. And then John F. Blair was the friend of the district, two new inductees into the Hall of Leaders. Um, again, thank you to Kelsey and Tyler Knight for yeah. the invite. Thank you to the kids. Unbelievable. You guys are so talented and gifted, and you guys deserve to know that. To the teachers and educators that help them mm -hmm. and are leading them, amazing. I was just shocked at how special that night yeah. was. And to Dr. Sean Kirksey, who kind of is behind the whole thing. Yep. And he is kind of uh, a student of and a product of the two guys that went into the Hall of Leaders yeah. this year. You know, they're heroes to him. And I was surprised also of uh, the faith of all of these people. They all talked about their faith and how important God is to them and uh, and always has been in their careers. You No doubt. And I was just, there's a lot of, it's the uh, Education Foundation, the Camden R3 School District Education Foundation. And there's board members and presidents and yeah. uh, our own Maddie Stam. I was just going to say that. Award. Maddie Stam, yeah, she won the communications award there at the, uh, Camdenton and she couldn't be there because they've had a family medical issue. So uh, I got her a thing. Next time I see her, I'm going to give her a, a program. And uh, we've, by the way, Maddie's a part of our staff now. Yep. She's so talented and she's just graduating high school this year. Yeah. So just so much great, so many great things coming out of that district. And uh, it was on full display. Really cool to see, Chris, because we love sports, right? Yeah. We don't get to see the other side, uh, some of the stuff that's also meaningful and impactful, uh, and maybe more, some, more so in, in some instances. Yep. So uh, 